Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Xiaomi routers in the access point or AP mode. And I'll also show you how to set up the mesh networking between the routers in the AP mode. So in today's experiment, I'll be using three routers. One is the AX3600 Wi-Fi 6 router. The next one is the Redmi AX5 router. And the third one is the AX1800 router. So in this setup, I'm going to use my AX1800 as my main router that is it is connected to the ISP modem and the AX3600 will be connected to the main router that is the AX1800 using the LAN and it will be in AP mode and then the Redmi AX5 is connected to the AX3600 using mesh networking. So this is the setup that we want to achieve. In my previous video I have already shown you how to set up mesh networking between two Xiaomi routers in very detail so you have to follow those steps for connecting the AX3600 and the Redmi AX5 in the mesh networking mode. So in this experiment, I will assume that your main ISP router, that is the AX1800 router, has already been set up and is working as the main router. And in the first step, you have to set up the AX3600. If you bought a new AX3600, then you can directly set it up. Or if you have already set up before, then you have to press the reset button here for some time and you have to reset it and set it up as a normal router. I have shown you how to set up the AX3600 in my previous video. I'll give a link. So after you set it up as a normal router by connecting the LAN cable to the WAN port from the main router, then in the second step, you will connect the AX3600 to the Redmi AX5 using mesh networking. In order to do that, you should follow the steps given in my mesh networking video. I'll give a link. After you have set this up, you can check whether the mesh networking was successful. In order to check it, you need to go to the Mi Wi-Fi app. This is the translated Mi Wi-Fi app. And you can go to device and you can go to the mesh networking equipment. And you can see that the parent node that is the gateway is the AX3600, child node that is the AX5 is shown here and you can see the connection type is 5 GHz Wi-Fi and the connection quality is excellent because they are next to each other. If you want to connect these two nodes using wired connection then you can also do so. You can just connect the uh, LAN cable from the AX3600 to the Redmi AX5. So I'll connect the LAN, connect it to the WAN port of the child router. Now I have connected the wire connection between the AX3600 and the Redmi AX5 so we can check the mesh networking management and here you can see that it is now connection type is cable so that automatically changes from Wi-Fi network to the cable connection and it gives preference to the cable connection. So now the second step is completed the Wi-Fi mesh network is working. In the next step you have to convert the settings of this AX3600 to the AP mode that is the access point mode. In the access point mode AX3600 and the Redmi AX5 routers will not be doing any routing routing so instead of the routing they will be switching the network of the main router that is the AX1800 to the mesh network of the AX3600 and the AX5. The access point or the AP mode or the bridge mode in the Xiaomi routers are natively supported as the wired extender mode. So if you select the wired extender mode then it is functioning like an AP mode. But if you set up the router as a wired extender mode then you will not be able to set up the mesh networking. So both are not compatible with each other. So you have to do a manual setup of the AP. So I'll show you how to do that. In order to do that, you need to go to the web interface. So let's go to the web interface of the AX3600. So this is the network topology currently, as you can see, you can translate it. So this is the Xiaomi router network topology diagram. And the main gateway is the AX3600 and the Redmi AX5 is the child router. These two are connected in the mesh networking system. Now go to the web interface of the AX3600 and log in. And you can translate and you should go to common settings. I think this will be usually general settings and the LAN settings. There is a DHCP service for the network. So you have to disable this DHCP service in the AX3600. Okay, now it has been successfully set. You should be noting the router IP domain. This is the IP address domain of your mesh network. And uh, later if you want to access the router settings, then you should be connecting to this domain manually after the DHCP has been disabled. Now you have to change the LAN connection port from the WAN port to any of the LAN ports, any of the three LAN ports like this. And now the setting has been completed successfully. So in this case, the AX3600 and the Redmi AX5 are still connected using the mesh networking protocol. But 
all the routing and the assignment of the ip address and the management of the devices connected will be done by the main router that is the ax1800 in my case but in this setting there are a few disadvantages that is you will lose your connection to the ax3600 from the mobile app as well as the web interface so you cannot control the settings anymore from the app but you can control the settings from the web interface i'll show you how to do that so in this case the internet indicator will be turned off or it will be orange in the case of the ax5 so this is the mesh network and you can see now that the ip address is given from the ax1800 router that is the 192.168.31.16 is given by the ax1800 router and we can check the network speed here and you can see that the network speed is 1200 mbps maximum speed of this uh, network and we can also check whether the connection from the redmi ax5 is working or not in order to do so let's connect to the redmi ax5 using a lan cable so i'll turn off the uh, mobile data as well as the wi-fi connection and then i'll use this uh, adapter the usb-c to lan gigabit adapter and i'll connect a lan cable to the redmi ax5 so now it has been connected we can see whether the internet is still working or not as you can see the internet is still working so that means that the redmi x5 is still connected to the internet even though i have turned off the wi-fi as well as the mobile data so it is connected using the lan cable now you won't be able to access the web interface if you go to miwifi.com you will go to the main router that is the ax1800 router as you can see here so this is the ax1800 router that is because your ip address has been controlled and assigned by the main router instead of the ax3600 or the mesh network even though it is still connected to the mesh network that is the xiaomi 9978 5g network but now if i want to go to the interface of the ax3600 then in that case i have to assign a manual ip go to your network connections in the, your computer and then go to the properties of the wi-fi adapter and go to ip v4 setting and instead of uh, ip address automatic then you have to assign a manual ip and the default gateway should be the router ip address that you have noted before even the dns should be your router ip address you can assign a manual ip here custom ip like this and once you do that you will be able to access the router interface as you can see here this is the router interface of the ax3600 and it says there are two devices connected one is this desktop and the one is the redmi ax5 router now if you want to revert back to the previous settings then you can go to the settings like before and you have to enable the dhcp server like this and once you enable the dhcp service then you will be able to revert back to your previous settings and you have to connect the cable from the lan ports to the wan port then everything will start working like before but there is uh, another option to test the network properties you can actually connect uh, one more lan cable from the main router to the wan port of this uh, host router so that there is a risk in doing that it may form a switch loop it's called a switching loop error since you are going to connect two lan cables to the main port it may form a switching loop but in my case i was able to do it without any errors i'll do it now connect from any lan port of your main router to the wan port of your host router so once you do that you will be able to see that the internet will start working again and you can also check the router settings in the mi wi-fi app now it's connected back to the network as you can see that the ip address is still the ip address of the ax1800 that is the uh, 192.168.31.16 that is the uh, domain of the ax1800 the domain of the ax3600 is 192.168.28 and we can also check the mi wi-fi settings now now it is connected to the ax3600 and you can go to the mesh networking and you can see that the, still the connection type is cable and even though this uh, network is in the ap mode if your network doesn't have any uh, switching loop errors when you connect an additional lan cable from the main router to the wan port then you can use like this and you will be able to access all the network settings from the app as well as the web interface uh, if you have some switching loop errors then you have to remove the additional lan cable to the wan port to prevent any errors for me it works so i'll be able to do it if you are not able to use the additional lan cable to your wan port of the host router then there is another way to verify whether the lan backhaul of the redmi ax5 in the ap mode then what you can do now is you can turn off this ax3600 router once you turn it off you can connect the cable of the redmi ax5 to the main router and once you do that the internet indicator should turn orange 
you can still see the network that is the, the Xiaomi 9978 5G is the mesh network and even though its main host router is disconnected it is still visible and if you see the IP address the IP address is assigned by the AX1800 so these are the things that I wanted to share with you setting up access point mode is easy you can easily do it and you can also make the mesh networking in the custom AP mode and I have started my Patreon campaign. If you want me to make more videos like this, then please support my Patreon campaign. If you find this video useful, please like it and share it. And thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.